Hello everybody, uh, my name is Dima and today I will be reviewing the new flagship from uh, ZTE called the Exxon 7. Um, what I have here is basically the highest configuration of the Chinese model with the 128GB of storage and 6GB of RAM. Um, I had this phone for around 3 weeks and was using it as my daily driver all this time. Um, since I got the phone it uh, received one major uh, update. Um, so I'm running the latest 6.0.1 Marshmallow on top of uh, ZT's uh, own Me Favor UI. So uh, let's get started. The ZT Axon 7 is made of aluminium and glass. Um, on this model, on the Chinese with the highest configuration, we actually have also the wooden cover of the speakers. Uh, it actually looks kind of nice. Uh, there's top and bottle bezel. On the top bezel, we have the notification light on the left, and on the right, there's the ambient sensor. On the bottom bezel, there's actually the capacitive uh, buttons with the recent apps and the back button, which you can actually change between them, and the middle uh, home button as you used to. On the left side, you have the, the SIM, SIM tray, uh, which you can actually put two of them, or one uh, 4G and one SD card, or one 4G, one 3G card, whatever you want. On the right side, we have the volume rocker and the power button. Uh, they're very clicky, very satisfying with good travel. I enjoy them very much. On the bottom, we have the mic um, and the USB Type-C port. On the top part, we have another mic and the standard uh, 3.0 uh, head jack. On the back side we have um, the camera on top middle, uh, below it we have the flash, dual flash and the fingerprint scanner which is crazy fast, I'm going to show you a bit uh, later. I have also the antenna bands, the ZT logo, uh, it's overall got a pretty clean look. Exxon 7's display is a beautiful 5.5 inch AMOLED Quad HD panel. Um, the screen gets very bright and easily visible in the sunlight, uh, no problems there. Um, the colors may be not the most accurate ones, but you can actually customize it a little bit in the settings if you want, or you just maybe like it um, a little bit uh, different than uh, other people. Uh, anyway, these uh, were very cool and gave us the option to do that. Um, the view angles are amazing, um, you can see from very steep angles, no problem at all. has a little bit discoloration, but it's natural uh, with the viewing from these steep angles. Uh, it's still, it's, it's, an, it's a gorgeous screen, I cannot say it's not, it's a gorgeous screen. Um, also, the screen is protected with Gorilla Glass uh, 4, which is very durable. Battery is very important to me. Um, usually when I buy a phone, this is one of the first considerations is battery. And the battery in Exxon 7 I think is very good, it's very very good. It's better than Note 5 at least, which this is the phone that I had. Uh, now, unfortunately because of MIUI's uh, system, I cannot really show you the screen on time. Uh, I can only see like, you know, this, the general steep that we have. Uh, it's weird that they omitted this feature, but uh, that's what we have. Anyway, uh, the battery capacity is 3140 mAh, and um, I think it lasts around 5 to 6 hours screen on time, which is uh, plenty enough for me. Uh, but the, the best part is the standby time, which is crazy. Like, I remember a few days ago, I went to sleep, I had like um, 50 percent of battery and I woke up with 49 I lost only one percent during maybe eight hours the system optimization of ZT is amazing um, this is uh, especially because you can actually restrict a lot of apps to run in the background and uh, 
to allow them deep sleep and all of the other stuff, uh, which is very good job. Well done by ZT. Axon 7 is a non-compromise flagship smartphone. Uh, ZT really put everything they could in it. Um, it has the newest Snapdragon 820 processor with Adreno 530, 6GB of RAM, 128GB of USF 2.0 storage, very fast and accurate fingerprint scanner, uh, which I hate a position by the way. I don't think the front or the back are the ideal position for a smartphone. If it's on the back, you need to pick it up. If it's on the front, you need to do some gymnastics to, to find it. I think the best one, it will be like Sony did with the Z5 on the side. Um, but yeah, whatever. Um, these are the benchmark scores. Uh, you can see it's pretty much on par with Galaxy S7 and G5, LG G5, etc. Uh, about the RAM management, uh, by default, Mi Favor UI closes applications in order to save battery. Um, but you can actually change it in the menu if you want uh, for each individual app you can restrict its background procedures or you can allow it uh, you can allow deep sleep or not uh, wherever you decide um, according to the RAM management itself I didn't really encounter a lot of reloads I can actually start an, uh, an application in the morning and uh, during the noon to open it and it's still in the RAM uh, even though I didn't um, didn't leave the restriction uh, of the app. Um, for me it works pretty good, but then again I'm not an extremely heavy user. Me favor UI. It's not my favorite. Um, after I bought the phone I immediately put Nova Prime Launcher and then it just became beautiful. I love how it looks, the notifications and uh, all of the other stuff. There's a cool feature here called Mi Pop, uh, which is actually this arrow that you can move around and if you press it for a long time you can actually get a few cool uh, features like screenshot, volume, uh, restart, lock screen, uh, which is pretty helpful. I guess they could do it a little bit better but uh, still it's pretty helpful. I have some sort of like smart power, um, long standby better features, the Dolby sound, which you can turn on and turn off. Uh, it's basically a filter, it's nothing special. Um, there is the frequently used uh, apps in the settings and these are all the full settings. So as you can see I'm running the latest 6.0.1 Android version with me February I, which is very smooth like I said. You have this amazing game, which I cannot win, never, even though I try all the time. The camera sensor is a Samsung ISOCELL 20 megapixel uh, with autofocus and it has OIS and software stabilization and a face detection autofocus uh, with an aperture of f1.8 which on the paper it sounds um, really really good. Um, during my testing it 
mm, got pretty much of a mixed result. Uh, you can see on the picture um, below um, how how it actually did. Uh, about the camera software, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Nothing um, extraordinary. You have the photo, uh, you have the video, you have the have the manual. Uh, where you can actually control most of the stuff like focus, white balance, exposure, ISO levels, shutter speed, eh, everything like like you know from other uh, smartphones. In the special features, you have uh, pretty cool stuff: magic exposure, time lapse, slow motion, etc., etc., uh, which is pretty cool. It's very useful stuff. Here you can take a picture of uh, my dog just so you can see how he does on the spawn it's pretty fast pretty fast taking picture so cute The sound is actually the main reason I bought this phone. Um, the output on the on the headphone is very very good, very loud. I do not need to reach the top levels of volume to enjoy the music. Um, I think the sound quality is amazing. It has uh, two DACs. One is uh, AK4961 and AK4490 um, with uh, Dolby Atmos integration inside the phone itself. Um, and the sound quality really it's just amazing it's much better than my Note 5 I think and uh, also I had the Meizu MX4 Pro cell phone um, and this just stops them like everything the lows the mids the highs everything is separated and this, the sound quality is just terrific for the conclusion I would like to say that at the moment I'm really enjoying this phone uh, I bought it around $620 in the Chinese website 
Uh, but this is the higher configuration, you can get the cheaper one around the 400 uh, uh, something with the, f with the 64 GB of uh, storage and the 4 GB of uh, RAM. Um, he has a great screen, has a very decent camera, has a great hardware with battery smooth software. It has its quirks, uh, but they're working on it, uh, all the small bugs, uh, I don't think they're really relevant, so I didn't even include them in the review. Um, it has a very very good battery, an amazing standby time, uh, the connectivity is, uh, for me it was flawless, uh, didn't have any signal drops, it works very good with the Wi-Fi, the 4G, everything. Um, in general, I, I don't think you will be disappointed with this phone, I think it's uh, very good for the money and I came from uh, Note 5 just so you know. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, this is my first one. Also, all of the review uh, was recorded uh, with uh, the ZT Axon 7's uh, microphone, uh, because at the moment I do not possess any good one. Um, so the quality may not be as good as you expect from uh, uh, professional reviewers, but also uh, it's pretty damn good mic. Anyway, uh, have a good day guys, uh, see you next time.